It was the most criminal kick so far this year, but the referee's decision stole the spotlight. Henry Lansbury's action was, to put it lightly, totally incomprehensible in the context of the match. Luton Town was 3-0 up against Swansea. There were only smiles on the faces of a team that had everything to win. More space on the right-hand side. That's a dangerous ball to the far post and Swansea pay for it. The game was completely controlled by the home side. This is why Lansbury's criminal kick took everyone by surprise. No one understood what could have been going through his head. What is he doing? Whoa, is it, is it a ball there or something? There was no doubt that it was a direct assault, but the referee decided to make the most unusual of decisions. However, the surprises didn't stop there. While he was writhing in pain, Ryan Manning was also yellow carded. The reason? He had delayed the home side's quick start. It's a clear red. Oh, he's got the yellow out. Refereeing errors have become the bread and butter of football. And despite the fact that the VAR came in to prevent them, lately they seem to be even more out in the open. El bar está desnudando aún más eh, a los malos árbitros y dejando claro, o sea, ahora ya no tienen excusa, digamos. No tienen excusa los malos árbitros. Antes podían salir justificándose con que estaban de espada, que había un jugador los tapaba, o que está, fue una cosa que pasó en otro lado de la cancha. Because they don't only happen in second division matches, bad decisions have also been taken in matches in some of the world's biggest leagues. That breaks for Bernardo Silva. Good challenge by Lovren, they're appealing for handball, it's Aguero who is screaming at the referee. In the first instance, there might have been doubts, but the replay would make it clear that Alexander-Arnold's handball could be considered a very clear penalty in Manchester City's favour. Even the English player would confirm this after the match was over. Trent, if the first goal was crucial, equally crucial was a penalty not being given against you for handball. How worried were you at the time? Obviously, yeah, you know, this VAR, obviously, I think it, it has hit me hard, but I think it might have hit um, Bernardo Silva's first. Um, but it's one of them where you have, to, you have to carry on playing. The play that the English right back was consulted on had not been the only controversy of the clash. Minutes later, another handball in the box would have him in the spotlight again. No one could understand how it had not been given, but Pep Guardiola had decided not to get riled up about it. Um, you talk about the game, I'm not here to talk about the decision, the referee, so as to them, my friends. So. All the time we have to come here about every time about the decisions, the referees or VAR, why is one day is hand and the other is not hand. Don't ask to me, ask to them. Unusual decisions and fateful refereeing mistakes can happen absolutely anywhere. Because it doesn't matter if it's Manchester City versus Liverpool or Luton Town versus Swansea. The referee can always become the protagonist of a decisive controversy. Whoa, is it is there a ball there or something? <laughs>